What's going on guys, Jake here with Uncommon ADC and today we're taking a look at uh, options for carrying your log and jotter or field notes uh, pocket journals. Um, so I grabbed a couple different options. Um, this is most of what I actually have. Um, a lot of times, honestly, I just end up throwing them in a larger pouch, a backpack, or my back pocket. Um, but I do have a couple different carry options that I thought were pretty interesting, as well as some kind of like pens and accessories to go along with them that I thought I'd show just to kind of show you what's out there in terms of options. Obviously, there's a ton more options out there. Um, so this is just kind of the uh, tip of the iceberg. But um, I'll start off with right up front. Uh, I believe this is uh, this is Recycled Firefighter. I believe it's called the Investigator. Um, so this is has a pocket in the front for a pen, um, which is meant for these pocket pens, um, which are cool little like kind of pop out pens. Um, and they sell those as well. Um, this is, particular version was one from one of the uh, headquarters boxes, um, but it's currently available as overstock. Um, but you won't be able to buy this kind of uh, leather version again with the uh, arid multicam um so i believe he'll probably end up having some other versions of this out in different materials particularly probably that fire hose material and maybe some other leathers um currently the other materials are sold out and they have been for a while um but i think he had hinted a few weeks ago on instagram that uh those might be coming back soon so hopefully that's the case um but this is held closed by a uh, elastic strap and this leather is super soft by the way it's really nice um Nice material, uh, feels really nice on hands. And inside, um, I have a log and jotter. Uh, this is one of their lantern ones, and it kind of most of these are going to work like this. Um, but the back cover just kind of goes into this uh, this little opening here, and you just turn it to the last page and slide it in, and um, that's kind of what holds it in place. And so that system works really well, obviously, that's why so many people use it. Um, but a really nice one, a uh, super soft leather. Uh, Kind of classy looking while still being a little bit uh, tactical looking. I don't know. I really like this one. Um, but this one was $49 on the website. Um, I believe the non-leather versions are a little bit cheaper. Um, it sounds a little bit pricey for what it is in terms of like a pocket notebook cover. Um, but honestly, it's pretty in range with most of the other options here on the table. Um, so again, that one's $49 at Recycled Firefighter. Um, next up, this one actually came from Etsy. This is a company called ArcCo. Um, I'll put a link to their Etsy in the description. Um, but this one also has a section in the front for a pen. And it fits almost a full length pen. Um, so I have a CRKT pen. Um, it's got like kind of a magnetic clip cover on it in there. Um, but it will fit a full length pen. Uh, well, close to full length. Sometimes uh, like I have this uh, Bastion pen here as well. Um, and that one fits as well, but anything longer than this, and there are definitely like standard like office pens that are longer than this, anything longer than this, you're gonna kind of reach over that ledge, but obviously just kind of pay attention to the measurements if you're uh, thinking of a particular pen. Um, but this one's nice because it has kind of this button clasp on it, and it works the same way. I have one of the, uh, this is the Olympic National Park field notes in there, um, and it works the same way by sliding in that back cover. Um, this one also has the option to kind of slide in the front cover as well. Um, so you can put two in there technically. Um, but you can also use that as kind of like a system for, I'm just going to move this out of the way, a system for like putting extra cash in there. Um, or like the front section has this kind of credit card slot or business card slot. So you can kind of put whatever you want in there. I have just kind of a, I think this is a glow card. I want to say from Grim Workshop. Um, but a credit card size, like glow card. Um, but this is another really nice one, kind of simple to the point, um, black multicam, kind of like the, the back here. So hopefully that's showing up okay. And it looks like it is. Um, obviously a big fan of black multicam. So pick this one up for $48 again on Etsy and I'll put the uh, link in the description. Um, so that feels a little bit pricey um, when you're comparing to the other ones in that price range, just cut based off the material alone. Um, but I believe there's only really one place to get black multicam, so there's probably a premium um, that you're paying on that. And also, it's a small maker. Um, I don't mind paying a little bit more if I'm supporting a small business. Um, 
in this case I am, obviously, a lot of those businesses on Etsy are pretty small businesses and handmade materials, so um, definitely don't mind supporting kind of those small businesses, but it is a little pricey when you compare it to like this one where you're getting kind of the premium materials for the same price, essentially one dollar different. <clears throat> Next up, uh, this one's from Gone Duck EDC, and this one's a little bit cheaper actually. This one came in, I believe, at $33. And the really nice thing about this, besides the kind of extra storage options, is that um, you can choose a pattern. So any of the patterns or materials they have that they use for their hanks, you can also get in their pouches. And so they have a lot of different pouches. This is, <clears throat> I believe, the um, two pocket field note pouch. And uh, I put in a log and jotter, obviously topo as well, just kind of go with the theme. Um, and that slides into the back. So this one's a little bit different in that you don't actually use it within the pouch. Both of the ones I had shown previously, you would just open it up and write directly in it. This one, you're going to pull it out and use it separately. And so I have a couple extra tools in here. Um, one, again, is a snaps ruler and a knife angle finder. And that I thought was uh, nice just because when you're writing in there, sometimes you're drawing images or making graphs or different things that you want to um, have straight lines for. And so it's nice to have that that option. Um, obviously, you can just kind of use stuff you have around, especially if you have like a second notebook, you can just use the spine or edge of it. But I do like having that. Um, so this is nice. Um, this isn't one that I would really carry in my pocket, um, in like a back pocket, just because it's got the other stuff. Um, this will fit like a full size like flashlight or um, they're pretty decent sized pockets so they can fit some other stuff in there. And then um, all of the patches I have, this is Knife Life, I believe this is from Loose Nuts. Um, they're all from kind of like these small makers as well. And so I'll link to their Instagrams. Um, a lot of them may not be available anymore. Uh, they do pretty limited runs and so they may or may not be available, but I'll link to their Instagram so at least you know where to find them and to keep an eye out for uh, future patch drops. Um, but these ones are really cool. This is just a knife life on them. And then for the pen on this one, this one can also accommodate pretty much a full size pen. Obviously you have to stay below that like five and a half inch size of the pocket journals. Um, but what I actually have in there, it's actually gonna be kind of hard to remove without pulling it, is the uh, telescoping uh, Fisher Space Pen. So it just kind of telescopes out and when you telescope it, the, uh, the tip pops out there so you can write with it. Um, so kind of a nice option there. Um, or pen. I really like this pen just because it's got such a small footprint, but then it's pretty close to a full-size pen when you're riding with it. It feels natural and it doesn't feel like you're riding with a mini pen like some of the pens I'm going to show at the end. Um, I'll just toss that in there. Um, so next up, this is by far my favorite. Um, this is the Epoch Made and uh, this was $60, but the nice thing about it is, although it's like this premium leather and really well stitched, it also has this giant loop panel that you can put a bunch of different patches on. So again, I'll do links to all of their Instagrams, but um, I believe these are everyday patch. Is These are, um, I wanna say PFAB designs. Both these are Pete's Pirate Life and this is a Gone Duck EDC. Um, I'm almost positive all of these are currently unavailable. Um, but they come up every once in a while, particularly the Pete's Pirate Life. I know a lot of times when he's doing a regular drop, he'll throw the patches in there. They're not something that's like an announced drop. Um, but if he has an announced drop, like the axes or the coins or anything like that, um, typically there's kind of like smaller items like sticker packs, pouch packs, and um, just like random little things. Um, so if you do want those ones, those ones might still be available, especially the I Love Knives. Um, I have like four different colors of these uh, Rain Dry ones. Um, so maybe they'll come out in more colors with the next drop. Uh, but this one works kind of the same as the other ones where it's got that back pocket where you slide the back cover in. And then it has a really nice kind of like tray here. And um, it's not really for anything, it just looks nice. Um, but it's pretty stiff and solid, so it can make like a nice like disassembly tray or like if you want to set your knife down somewhere open, it's like a nice material where you can just kind of set stuff on obviously probably not stuff that rolls because it's going to roll away, um, but just kind of use it as a flat surface to set stuff on if you don't want to set it on whatever's underneath that, like you're worried about whatever it is kind of scratching up underneath or um, 
whatever it is, scratching your knife or whatever you want to set down, you know, if you have a really like nice satin finish and you don't want it to get scraped up on cement and you have this set down and you need to set it down, um, you can use that as kind of a cover, which I think is really nice. Um, and it's also just nice, like kind of stiff, solid riding surface, um, which you don't really need um, so much in this case because uh, the notebook kind of functions that way anyway. Um, but I really like this one. Again, it's only $60 and for me, it definitely feels like the most premium. So that $10 extra you're paying over the next closest um, definitely seems worth it. Um, I'll link to his Instagram as well. I'm not sure if this is still available. I believe it is. Um, when I looked a day or two ago, it was still available. Um, so most of these you can still get. The one exception may be the Recycled Firefighter um, Investigator. Um, Right now it is available, but by the time you watch this and, you know, if it's a week or two weeks, not right when it goes live, um, that may or may not be available. Uh, but hopefully some other versions of the investigator will. Um, and so last up, this one is kind of cheating, I guess, uh, or bonus item, depending on how you look at it. Um, but this one, it does not fit a field notes um, or log and jot or pocket journal. Um, this one's made for these kind of right in the rain notebooks. And even that's a little bit snug in there. Um, so this is meant for like a three by five notebook. And so you can just kind of slide them in through the top. So I have one in there. I'm not going to open that up because I actually have writing and some emails in there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to open that up. But this one has a full kind of loop panel on the back. So you can just stick it to the outside of a bag or inside of a bag, whatever um, kind of velcro options you have there um so that's really nice it's probably not something you'd use like this for like a patch board although i guess it would work um actually i don't know i think it's like kind of the opposite material so this wouldn't stick very well yeah they don't stick very well um so you need like an actual loop panel to stick that to it's not going to be able to take patches um which they wouldn't look great on there anyway um and then on the front i have another one of these nas titanium rollers um Again, just like having those with notebooks sometimes. And so if it can accommodate it, I will usually throw one in there. Um, and then this pen, which is a bolt action one from Wii. Um, that has a little glass breaker on the end. Just kind of a cool looking pen. Matches kind of with the ruler, not exactly. Um, but kind of a similar, similar looking vibe. Um, and these are only 16 bucks on Blade HQ. Um, so super cheap and a good way to hold these kind of right in the rain notebooks, which I also have a few of. Um, definitely not as many as my field notes and log and jotters, just because they're so, for me, just kind of like so collectible and good looking. Um, whereas the right in the rain are pretty boring. Uh, they're functional, obviously, but they don't have a lot of like different cover designs or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> So that's it for the covers. I also brought along a couple of mini pens. Um, I didn't include really full size pens just because it would have gotten to be too many. I don't want to drag this video on longer than it needs to be. And um, so I just wanted to show some kind of like mini pen options. This one is the Mech Army. It's like a, another tiny bolt action one. Um, this is actually the first bolt action pen I got, I think. Um, and this came from a Going Gear subscription, so I don't know how much it actually costs. Um, I'm assuming like 30 to $50 would be my guess, um, but definitely don't quote me on that. Um, but this one's cool. It has a nice little like kind of keychain attachment point here, so you can just keep it on a keychain. Um, the bolt action action, obviously. Um, Pretty small, but not not horribly so. And then it has uh, spots on the end. I'm not sure how well that'll show up. Yeah, there we go. Um, spots on the end where you can put tritium or inserts. So um, if you want to add some glowing to the end of that, you can. Um, so I thought that was really nice. I like this one a lot. Um, another of these pocket pens. I have a bunch of these. I think I got them in like a five or 10 packs or something like that. Um, so they come in a bunch of different colors. So I already had one obviously in the orange there, but just kind of thought I'd show off that they come in different colors and Recycled Firefighter in particular sells the brown one with the notebook. Um, it's not included, it's a separate fee, but I think it's like $2.95 or something, like not crazy at all. Um, another option from Fisher Space Pen for this one, um, this is nice again because you reverse that, uh, that cap covering and it turns into a full length pen. So it's really natural to write with. Um, like this forest green color, it also comes in other colors and with a key ring so you can keep it on your keychain if you want or on like a key keeper within your backpack so you don't lose it. Um, so I really like that one as well and 
kind of fits nicely in a lot of these like shorter pen slots um, with a nice key ring there to like pull it out. So um, that is one nice thing, especially if it's like a tighter one, um, which none of these are actually too tight. So not, not a concern with these, but I've had some in the past that had pretty tight um, pen holes. Uh, so that is nice to have that option. Um, next up, this one's a county com. Uh, this says cage 5 vkb 6 if you want to look it up. Um, this is a titanium, just kind of like twist off mini pen. Um, this one is getting to the point where it's pretty tiny and difficult to write with, um, but also nice if you, you know, want something compact, you can throw this on a keychain. There's a lanyard hole at the end, um, so you can put it on a lanyard or a keychain. Um, it's also super small if you want to kind of like stuff it in any sort of kit, it's going to fit. Um, so that's a really nice option as well. Um, and two more, we'll run through pretty quickly. Um, just the standard Fisher Space Pen. Um, these are like 30, 35 bucks. And um, just tried and true, tested and work well. So um, I know I have a few different uh, Fisher Space Pens, but that's because they work well and um, they come in a lot of great options that uh, work in different situations from the uh, telescoping version to the keychain version to the standard version. There's just so many different options and so many different like colors and textures that you can get if you're um, looking for something specific. They can be a little bit pricey, but um, it just depends on what you're comparing it to. Like these pocket pens, you can probably get a three pack for under 10 bucks but all of the Fisher Space Pens are gonna run you in that like $30 range. This one I think is probably gonna be a decent amount more. Um, the Wii knife, or yeah, the Wii pen, probably again, it's gonna be a decent amount more. So um, just kind of depends on like, the perspective you're looking at. If you're comparing it to, you know, a big pen, of course they're more expensive, but um, still in the range of reason. And then lastly is this zero hour pen, another nice one that has kind of the lanyard hole. Um, this one even has a small pocket clip and it twists off just like uh, the County Calm one. But unlike the County Calm one, this one can actually twist into the end to make it a little bit bigger. Um, it's still a little bit thin, but it writes really well and is easy enough to use um, at this size. So it's not too small and uh, it's kind of all drilled out, super lightweight. Um, little pen. Um, so just kind of wanted to give a bunch of different pen options if you need something small. Um, obviously most of these can actually accommodate like full size pens. Even this, which is meant for the pocket pen, you can put a bigger pen in there because you know, the journals themselves are five and a half inches. Um, so anything under five and a half inches is going to fit in almost any of these pouches, um, including ones I don't have on the table. And so, um, for me, I like these little pens. Um, and I definitely do carry standard size pens too, but they're not as exciting to show off. I had some kind of cool options. Um, so threw them in there. But let me know what you think, uh, which one of these is your favorite, um, or if there's one that you use that's kind of blows these out of the water. I'm definitely interested in checking more of these out. Um, for me right now, I think um, the Investigator and the Epoch Made uh, covers are the ones that I'm reaching for most often. Um, I don't typically put any of these in my pocket though. Um, they do fit in the back pocket. Um, but usually if I'm holding it in my back pocket, it will just be the notebook itself and I'll put a pen in my like shirt pocket. And that's usually because I'm going into like the office or to work and I'm wearing a dress shirt anyway that has a front pocket. And so sometimes I'll put the notebook itself in the front pocket. Um, a lot of times I'll put it in the back pocket, but I don't like to sit on them. So um, I do switch them out of that pocket if I'm sitting down. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoyed this content. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great one.